I'm Aaron Belzer, Managing Partner of Civil Litigation Division at Burnham Law. Appeals are very different from trials. Um, the procedure is different um, and the sort of nuts and bolts are different. In an appeal, you don't get to introduce new evidence. There are no witnesses. It's not a fact-finding court. In a lot of ways, it is an error correction court. It's a court intended to correct legal errors that occurred in the trial proceedings. Two really important considerations. In the appellate court, you're bound by the record and the standard of review. So the record is all of the things that happened at trial, all the motions, the orders, the transcripts, that sort of things. There are no new facts in appeal, only what's in the record. Uh, the, co the court of appeals can only consider what's in the record from the trial court. And that also means you can't raise new arguments in the court of appeals. Likewise, the standard of review is an important consideration in an appeal. That is the lens through which the court views the case or the standard by which they can reverse the, the case. And those range from very deferential to the trial court to not deferential at all, where the court of appeals can take essentially a fresh look at things. Now, it's very important to have on an appeal an attorney who's experienced and knowledgeable about the appellate process, because again, it's a very different procedure, works differently than a trial. Uh, we on our team have a bunch of former appellate clerks are very familiar with the appellate process. Uh, and it's, like I said, very important if you're going to embark on an appeal that you have somebody familiar with that process because a trial and an appeal are two very different animals. For more information, visit the website, burnhamlaw.com. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And for more information, go to burnhamlaw.com.